coming soon. Coming to theaters this January. Hi, welcome to Regal Cinemas. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, we just saw Taken 2 and it was awful. Yeah, it was like Taken 1, but if Taken 1 was a really bad movie. So, uh, can we get a refund? Uh, I'm sorry, we don't do that. <laughs> but you just took our money. Yeah, our money was a uh, Taken. <laughs> I understand your money's been taken. <laughs> Holy crap, it's Liam Neeson. That's right. Liam Neeson returns in Taken 3 to help people who paid to see Taken 2 take their money back. Oh, are you here to personally refund us for Taken 2? I cannot refund your money. What I can do is sneak you into another movie that's actually worth seeing. <laughs> well, take it. Let's go. Watch. Watch as Liam Neeson desperately struggles to regain the trust of his mom. Tickets, please. We don't have any tickets. My friends and I were hoping to use the bathroom. Oh, sure, like I never heard that one before. Listen very closely. I have a particular set of skills. Skills acquired over several summers sneaking into movie theaters as a teenager. Skills that make me a nightmare for a person like you. You're Liam Neeson, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Totally is! Okay, look. If you take this photo with me, I'll let you in for free. Oh, yeah, Very sure. Cool. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, my God! You killed him! He was the last hit! He knew too much! Come on! And just... 
And just when you think all is well, Liam's parents get taken again. Wait, what a second, what is this? A walk among the tombstones. <laughs> Well, Jesus, give it a chance at least. You promised to sneak us into a good movie? Yeah, I mean, aren't you making like 20 million dollars for Taken 3? Why can't you get the money back? Because I spent it all on a prostitute. <laughs> Wait, what prostitute cost 20 million dollars? She had a particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know that? Ow, that's now! Get back here, you kid! Run! See Liam Neeson finally bring his fans into a movie worth watching. Thanks for sneaking us in the con, girl, Mr. Neeson. You're most welcome. Holy crap, is that Ben Affleck's dick? <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> um, excuse me, guys. I think you're in our seats. Oh, I'm sorry, but these seats are taken. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> taken three. Coming to take your wallet soon. TMI now presents the first ride on the new space elevator. Oh, 
I said I should watch Will and Grace. Did any big homo? Thank you, bro. <laughs> Uh, I'd rather take an apple teeny. Oh my god, I thought you were watching your waistline. I thought you were minding your own damn business. Whore. <laughs> 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 no, come over here and put your penis in my butt. Okay, stop, I can't. Stop. Okay, cut. <laughs> that was going so great, Carl. You're knocking it out of the park. No, it's, it's the will and grease and the apple teeny. Gays don't talk like this. Hey, buddy, I'm just the director. Chuck's the real muse around here. The kid can write, I tell you what. The words just flow out of me. I thought I was going <laughs> If I close my eyes, I thought I was in one of your people's bathhouses. <coughs> okay, we need to keep moving forward. No, okay, are you sad? I'm non-union. Then you shouldn't be talking to me. <laughs> okay, let's move to the next scene. Anthony and Carl, you just finished having hot, steamy, super gay sex, right, Chuck? Yeah, bro, it smells like poop in there! <laughs> you, you're gonna run this town someday and I'll be there right next to you. Action. Wow, you really gave it to my keister good. <laughs> Shut up, I'm trying to give myself a manicure. <laughs> I smell an Emmy. Thank you. Do you want a salsa dance like the Chiquita Banana Woman? <laughs> Do you really have to ask? By the way, please sex my butt. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> okay, Charles, uh, what's wrong now? Well, the, the salsa dance like Chiquita Banana Woman and the penis in the butt, like, it's ridiculous. It has nothing to do with Joe's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Do you have any idea how our Chuck worked on this? Chuck, tell him how long it took you to write this. About ten minutes! Ten minutes! <laughs> and you just shat all over that ten minutes of hard work. You know what? It's all the same with you people. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? The actors. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! I quit! <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, no. I think I'm gonna take off, too. <laughs> Chuck, I want you to know that this, this had nothing to do with you, buddy. You are a genius. Thanks. Uh, can I borrow ten bucks to go get some Bud Light Lime? You don't even have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! How you doing? Just 
Doug, how you doing, buddy? Uh, you need help? Sir, uh, these two would not like to order the breakfast burritos uh. for California. <laughs> Doug, isn't that a shame? Sir, yes, sir. Oh, Doug, I'm sorry. I gotta follow the rules. I don't make them here at the Double D, yes, all right? Sir. That's just what we do. Yes, Doug, why don't we step back in my office? Have a little conversation. Wait, Doug. What's going on here? Oh, no, no, folks, folks, just one second. Just one second, we'll be right back. He's trying to cut my mommy. Oh, I'm sorry, it's against our policy, no personal phone calls. All right, folks, we'll be right back, all right? Cut my mommy, we'll be right back. Cut my mommy, we'll be right back. Cut my mommy, we'll be right back. Should we go back there? I don't know what's going on. Jesus! I'm so sorry, folks. Uh, Doug's not going to be able to help you out. Neither is Kathy. I'll finish your order for you guys, all right? Why are you covered in blood? Why? Well, I mean, this is a book of the guy. It's like cherry filling, all right? All right that's <laughs> okay, now where were we? Let's see. Uh, two iced coffees, right? Two iced yes, coffees? yes. Would you like to add the croissants? No, we just want our iced coffee so we can go. Yes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I'm the manager and I'm going to lead by example. And I never thought my day would come so soon. What are you talking about? <laughs>
just turned 30? No! no! Yes! And can you believe that our due dates are a week apart? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love that you can combine birthday parties. Uh, I said, I, even though they have the same father, I am not breastfeeding two babies at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank goodness our breastfeeding days are over. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. And wait a second. Since when are 21 year old girls too old to breastfeed? <laughs> teenagers and growing up, and of course, breakfast. I hereby call this meeting of the Breakfast Club to order. Our first order of business is to eat breakfast. Thanks for letting us eat breakfast here, Claire. Yeah, I don't, I don't really have a lot of places to eat breakfast. <laughs> it's no problem. You guys know that breakfast is the most important Meal of the day? I read that. Cool. Claire, honey, are you in there? Oh, guys, it's my parents. Quick, hide the breakfast. All right. What's going on in here? Oh, nothing, Dad. What's up? We thought we could smell breakfast. I don't know what you're talking about. So you better not be buttering my daughter's toast. Ew, Dad, gross. Sorry, calm down. Claire, honey, when it comes to breakfast, we just want you to be safe. Mom, gross, we're not eating Your pancakes, you're busted. I've been waiting a long time for this. 
Yes. But, but, but they're not ours, Vice Principal Vernon. Yeah, you gotta believe us. Oh, really? Then whose are they? <laughs> They're mine. <gasps> Bender. Yeah, right. You ate lunch for breakfast just like your old man did when he was a student. <laughs> no way you're a member of this breakfast club. Oh, yeah? I am! Man? Yeah, you, you gotta believe him. Oh, really? Print it. <laughs> Eat a bite of this corned beef hash with ketchup. Stars is a man who can't find his wife. I can't find my wife. <laughs> also starring Rosamund Pike as a wife who makes herself disappear because of her meddling friends. And sometimes I go to use the bathroom and he has left the toilet seat on. <gasps> no, no way. You cannot live like this. <laughs> and then sometimes he's coming home late because he's out supporting the family. Oh, you do not have to deal with that. No. And then sometimes she's all like, oh, honey, I love you, baby. Give me hugs and kisses. Oh, oh like, bastard. Also starring Tyler Perry. Go on, girl. Now play it. Hey, go on, Quartet edition of What Goes Into Guacamole. I think you 
may be surprised by the answer. <laughs> Later, we're going to raffle off clues to the code to the unisex bathroom. Hopefully, the homeless man doesn't win like last time and lock himself in there for hours masturbating. Fuck you! Get out of here, you bum! <laughs> Barstow Chipotle, which does not have a parking lot. And it's called Maybe You Should Try the Barbacoa. Hit it. Oh, maybe you should try the Barbacoa. Just stand in line with me and I'll show you. Sure, it looks like poop. Ah! But let me give you a scoop on some nice brown rice, which is now available for a dollar extra. And maybe Oh, 
home state uh, for a wild bear who attacks some people. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate it when bears go wild. They've ruined so many parties at the Abbey. No. <laughs> Sweetheart, you look so funny, honey. Not that kind of bear. I mean, like, you know, the big furry kind with big balls. Maria, you don't have to explain what a bear is to me. I've fucked enough of them. <laughs> Space 
drama that everyone has been waiting for has finally arrived. Welcome to Interstellar. Scientists predict that these deadly dust storms will destroy all vegetation on Earth, leading to the inevitable extinction of all life as we know it. And now, here's Phil Wu with sports. Thanks, Diane. Speaking of getting destroyed, the Lakers took on the Washington Wizards tonight, and it was not pretty. Man, Lakers suck. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize anyone was in here. I am in here. That's true. I'm Cooper. Farmer slash scientist will become an astronaut to save this planet. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Stella. I'm a bored housewife who isn't married and doesn't own a house, but I have a healthy sexual curiosity and a desire to explore boundaries. <laughs> you mean like the boundaries of our solar system? Maybe. <laughs> Would you like to be an astronaut on my rocket ship? I have no training. Oh, I think I could train you, baby. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, let's do it! Come here. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't started. There's <laughs> supposed to be a guy for that. Fluffer! Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a cockpit. Oh, you don't have a cockpit? No. Not you talking about a spaceship? No. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> well, what if I was talking about a spaceship? Oh, yeah, definitely cock. Oh, then let's do it! Right. Interstellar. One small step for man, one giant leap for erotic entertainment. It's because I did Kegels. I mean, oops, those meteors are so big. I've never seen anything so big. I've heard that before, baby. <laughs> Sausage usually unless the money's there. Twenty extra dollars, I'm there. Okay, extra sausage. <laughs> oh no! I don't have any money in my spacesuit. Do you take credit? Depends on what kind of credit you're offering me. The good kind. <laughs> well, I love the good kind. Then let's do it. Interstellar, starring Matthew. I'm gonna lay and. We'll take you to the outer limits of sexual desire. Fresh off his controversial Saturday Night Live appearance, Chris Rock comes to the forum with his all-new No Off-Limits Tour. Islamic State! Islamic State! Finally a state worse than Alabama to drive through! Chris Rock knows funny on his No Off-Limits Tour. Bet you didn't know the brothers actually running ISIS. <laughs> no, I'm serious! Yo, Jamal, what you gonna do today? I don't know. I think I'd be hitting somebody. 
Chris Rock hits that raw nervability on his no off limits tour. Pretty made it, find out she died, and moves to Oregon to kill herself. See, that's the difference right there between white people and black people. I find out I'm dying, the first motherfucker I kill is the person that told me. And we ain't moving to no Oregon to kill herself. If a black man wants to kill himself, all he needs to do is move to Ferguson, run for a police officer, and say, I surrender! Bam! No topic is too sensitive, no story too controversial for hilarity on Chris Rock's No Off Limits Tour. Oh, was Ferguson too soon? Or was it just too real? <laughs> and speaking of real, they say Ebola virus is gonna kill a hundred thousand people? That shit is nasty. And why do we call it the Ebola virus? Shouldn't we just call it the stay the fuck out of West Africa virus? <laughs> and you know Ebola's only spread in West Africa because it ain't shit else to do there. Ebola comes to New York and infects a white guy and is riding the subway. Ebola gets to go out to dinner. Ebola's like, shit, I can get used to this. Ebola's not even hanging out with his old Ebola friends anymore. Ebola's like, I can't talk. I got tickets to see Spamalot. See ya. Join Chris Rock and with special guest Jerry Seinfeld doing all new blue material. Who came up with the term long jump? <laughs> Who wants more work than they already have? How about you say, honey, how about this week we try a blow vacation? <laughs> I think I'd like that. That's Chris Rock and Jerry Seinfeld on the No Off Limits Tour! Let's be serious. Who wouldn't want to fuck Cliff Hustable? <laughs> Keeping women locked in the basement. My God. 
You guys, I thought it was going to be fun to be a Thunderbird. Hang around the mall shop, race yeah. some cars, yeah. break out in a song for no discernible reason whatsoever. Yeah. 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 But this? No, this is some sick shit! It's not sick, you know? Sick would be killing a girl that wearing her skin as a hat. <laughs> 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 